Season's greetings, YouTube friends. This vlog is going to be about my Goodwill Monday finds, but I just need to explain that everything in this little basket I got yesterday, which was Sunday, and I got these items at the Goodwill bins, and they sell everything there by the pound. So um, these are the items that I got. Now, I know, I know, I know that Thanksgiving. Or, I'm sorry, not Thanksgiving. Uh, Halloween, you know, Halloween is is over and done with. But I came across this. Um, it's Halloween bingo. See, Halloween bingo. So, like I said, um, I buy things off season. So since um, Halloween is over, you know, and we're into Christmas now, I'm gonna pack this and uh, away with my my Halloween decor, and so we can have this for a game next next year, next Halloween. So I got this. And I also, I found this little package of, um, you know, for eyeshadow, to put eyeshadow on. And it hasn't, hasn't been opened. So, you know, I could always use these. And then um, I found this, um, what do they call this? Burlap. It's like a burlap, not ribbon, but garland? No, not garland. Anyways, um, I'm... I have an idea for this, and it's a craft idea, and when I uh, do it, I'll show it to you so you can see what my intentions are to uh, use this for. It's I'm going to um, cover my planter outside, um, just outside my front door, so that's what this is for. And it's burlap, and then it has this like faux um, velour, I guess that's velour, yeah, and then... Um, this movie, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this movie before. It's like the cutest movie. It's called Shirley Valentine. And I have a small, small, real small, believe it or not, it's so old, but I have a small VHS television in the little child care room that I have. So um, if you can ever find this movie, like, you know, um, on the internet, it's a real cute movie. It's a chick flick, but it's it's so cute. So I, I highly recommend it. So I, I'm glad that I found it because I can put it with my collection of um, the VHS movies that I have collected over the years. And then I found this basket. And I also um, am going to do a little project with this basket. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use this silver silver metallic spray paint and I'm gonna spray this basket uh, this color so and it's gonna be a Christmas basket for me so I can keep my um, Christmas cards and stationery and um, that type of stuff in here I'll show it to you when when I finish that so these are the things and so for this all this including the basket Whoops, I got it for, I have the receipt here. I got it for $2.18, these items. So that was yesterday. So I'm going to set this aside now. Now today, uh, today, oh God, today Monday, I went to the Goodwill, and I get the discount because I'm a senior now, I guess you could say. I am, and so this is what I got at the Goodwill store today. So again, you know, we're, we're done with Thanksgiving, but I found these um, real pretty napkins for Thanksgiving for next year. They're cloth napkins, and um, everything was 25% off. That's the discount that I got. So it was like 25% off this price, $3.99. And then these to scatter on, on the table next year to make the Thanksgiving table just look a little more festive, you know? So I got this for 59 cents. Oh, I wrote, oh, I guess I did. Anyways, I got these and then um, I found these two plates. Now I already have four of these Christmas plates with this design and I just happened to find two more. So I, I picked these up to add. So now I have a total of six of these Christmas plates. And then um, I like to have at least three um, seasonal mugs. So I just picked up just this, this red mug. 
to add. I had three, so now I have a total of four. So, and then this can double for um, Valentine's Day as well. Yeah. And then um, I also got this little this little package of uh, what do they call them? Pong pong yeah pong uh, pong pong balls. Is it is that what it's called? Uh, I think it's called pong pong balls. So anyways, I'm going to use these for a Christmas game because when we get together here at my house for Christmas, I like to have games to play. So uh, I saw something on uh, Facebook and I needed um, pong balls. I, I don't think I'm saying it right. But yeah, so I, I found these there. So this stuff, you know, I got for today for uh, $7.31. Okay, so that was today at the Goodwill and then well I I went ahead and went to one other secondhand store because I was looking for something you know like how they say on your wish list and I did find it and I'll show it to you in a minute but in addition to the item that I found that I was looking for I found th these uh, four Christmas plates now these are smaller plates they're like you see the difference they're, they're, they're like dessert plates I guess so I got four of these for $1.99. Yeah. And then this, um, I'm going to put some little greenery in it, some Christmas greenery, and put this over my kitchen sink. So that's what that, what I'm going to do with that. And I can get the greenery like at the Dollar Tree. I, I actually already got it today. And then the thing that I found that I was hoping to find, um, I, I was looking for a runner. For a table runner, I'll, I'll show you um, where I'm going to put it. But I found this. So so these plates at at uh, the other secondhand store I went to was a dollar ninety nine, and then this little red vase was ninety nine cents, and then this is the table runner that I found. Isn't that pretty? It's felt, you know, it's it's kind of a thick felt, and I got it for a dollar ninety nine. So this is where I'm gonna put it. I'll show you over here. See, uh, oh, we got, our tree's a little bit tilted. We've gotta fix that. Um, and I have to decorate it, but we have to fix it because it's tilted a little bit and then, then I can decorate it tomorrow. I plan on doing that tomorrow. So anyway, see this little table here where I keep my um, TV? Uh, I, I want to put this um, table runner here on the top to add some more color. And the, the white tablecloth, it's not actually a tablecloth, it's a uh, shower curtain. It's a cloth shower curtain that I'm using for a, for a tablecloth. Yeah. So anyways, and then um, I kind of wanted to just kind of share. <laughs> This is going to be kind of funny, but you see, my channel name is I'm Still Dreaming. But before I made the channel I'm Still Dreaming, I used to have this channel called Strength to Dream. So I actually have, um, well, I don't know how many videos. There's like 120 videos on this channel, my first channel, Strength to Dream. So I just wanted to share that with you because... Uh, some of my well you might find some of my videos off of my first channel you know somewhat entertaining so I just wanted to share that that's all that's that's me oh gosh there I am anyways um yeah so I wanted to talk about that a little bit and then um the last thing is uh I wanted to just finish reading just one page more of the book that I received when I went to go listen to Robert Kennedy Jr. on the 19th, on November the 19th, and I received this booklet, and so I'm reading it through. Now, I'm reading it with, I'm reading it for the first time as well, so um, we're both reading it together for the first time, so this is where I left off right here, and so the question that was um, asked, uh, you know, the interviewer asked um, Mr. Kennedy, how do you stay positive and upbeat and energetic? What's your source of solidity? 
So this is Mr. Kennedy's answer to that question. He says, uh, a couple of things. I have a, re a real spiritual discipline. I rely on 12-step meetings. I was going to, to nine a week during the pandemic. I've been doing that for 40 years. That's where I get spiritual renewal and confirmation and validation. And also the opportunity for service, which really is what keeps people sane. You know, if you're feeling depressed or feeling discomfort or uncertain and anxious, the one thing that will tra transform that immediately, like magic, is if you try to help somebody else. And you get a lot of those opportunities in 12-step programs. I do meditation every day, and that also centers me spiritually. You know, I do a lot of whitewater kayaking and a lot of first descents on big rivers all over the world. And when you're scouting a rapid, you climb high above the rapid and you look at it for a long time and make a plan. You make a line, how you're going to get through it, what moves you're going to have to make. And then you try to stay on that line. And... Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is um, on the river kayaking. <laughs> and then it says, that's our dog, Dice. Dice! Anyway, so it goes on to say, uh, it goes on to say, if you can do that, you're going to be okay. A lot of times you, you wash out and you're at the mercy of the river. And that's what to me meditation is like sitting still and planning your day and saying how am i going to stay centered during this day and these difficulties and ask for help and when i speak to this child i'm not going to get angry i'm going to be understanding when i speak to this worker or business partner i'm going to do it in a way that's calm and not give in to anger or fear and other times you can stick with your plan and you end up washing out. And other times you can stick with your plan and you end up washing out, but you get another chance. God's given us the gift of time, which he cut into these manageable units called days. And every day you can start over and try to do better. I try to stay spiritually centered. As long as I do that, I feel I can bear anything. And, um, okay, so I'll read, like, another page next time. Another page and a half next time. So, um, all right, you guys, I guess that's, that's all for now. Uh, I'm making, um, I'm making an enchilada casserole right now. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's right. It's covered with foil. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> I don't know how to edit. I have no idea how to edit. So I'm going to set the phone down, and then I'm going to take the casserole out of the oven. Hold on, please. Whoops. Sorry about that. This is the enchilada casserole that I made, and we're going to be eating that. So what I do is um, I get a plate, and um, I plate this shredded lettuce on the plate, and then I serve the casserole, and then I put a dollop of the sour cream on top of the uh, casserole. So yeah, there it is. Came out pretty good, actually. Well, it looks pretty good anyway. We'll see how it tastes. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Have a nice evening. Bye.